Ladies and gentlemen, this should have been two years ago. This also should have been last Thanksgiving in November. This was also supposed to be part of a double feature from yesterday. I've let you down three times on the inside. Not You might not even know about it. The 1986 sequel to one of my favorite movies, Black Taboo 2. Sequel. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, it's February 4th, and I got some pumpkin pie just for this. It's not as cool and fast-paced and maybe interesting as the original, but it still deserves to be seen. And this was a hard journey. You know there's Black Taboo 2 and there's Black Taboo number 2? Very confusing. This one's 1986. Patty Rhodes. Patty Rhodes Lincoln nowadays. Number 2 is Jim Malibu. Debbie Does Dishes series. And it has Jeannie Pepper, who was in the original. So, you know, I thought maybe, I thought that was it. But then, after extensive research, I find out this is it. F.M. Bradley. We just lost him in November. That is a bummer. He is so cool. One of the best parts of Pretty Peaches too. And he leads a cast, a cool cast of a bunch of cool people. He's the dad. This is the Tannenbaums meet the Huxtables. And FM just wants all his kids back for Thanksgiving dinner. Will they all get home in time? Only his youngest daughter lives with him. Oldest daughter back east in college with Portia Lynn. Both his sons. One's a tennis pro, a wounded, once was top of his game tennis pro. Wes and Owen, are you stealing from Black Taboo too? And the other one's in jail. We talked a lot about Patty Rhodes in Treasure Box. First film she ever directed. She also wrote a couple of pictures that we did. Two of the taboos, 16 and 13. Mark Weiss wrote this, Cheerleader Academy. He's got a bunch of cool scripts under his belt. Writer slash caterer caterer how often do you hear that he never really stopped doing either one too isn't that awesome i've never heard that go look up his credits he's writing scripts and catering films 88 minutes long we got this one down to 14 we cut this one down to a pg bathing suits third day in a row bathing suits also damn damn it and drinking you might think that's prudish but show me a g-rated film with portia lynn in a bikini I don't know if that's mic droppable, but you know what I'm saying. Gee. Okay, I've mentioned a few cast members, but we're gonna go over them all when we come back after the film. We haven't all been together as a family for a long time. You should really be happy, Vanessa. I am happy, Daddy, really. It's just that I haven't seen Steffi and Leon and Reggie in so long. I know, Pumpkin. I feel the same way. You know, it's hard when the kids grow up, they leave home, you don't see them anymore. But we will be all right. We really will. I'll give Daddy a big smile. <laughs> wow, Stephanie. This is the kind of house a record producer lives in? Nah, this was paid for by one hit song my dad wrote about my sister. Oh, Daddy's Little Girl. I remember that. I like that song. I hated it. Hmm. Oh, Miss Stephanie, it's so good to have you home Hi, again. Hi, Marguerite. And who's that? Marguerite, this is Tess, and oh, she's going to be staying with us for oh, Thanksgiving. Oh, great. Well, your father's asleep, but um, let me tell your sister you're here. She'll come and see you. Okay. I like her. She's friendly. 
Well, this should be interesting. You never talk about your family. It'd be nice to see what they're like. I thought I told you about my family. No, you haven't. Every time I ask, you end up changing the subject. I do? Mm-hmm. Well, what would you like to know about them? Well, I already know that your father is a record producer and a songwriter. And I know that your older brother, Reggie, is a top-seated tennis pro. But what about your little sister? She's your basic full breath. <laughs> I know. Just like in the song, right? Well, if you already know about them, what are you asking me for? Well, I don't know everything. For instance, you have an older brother, and I don't know anything about him. His name is Leon, and he's in jail. Next subject. Wait a minute. Leon, I want to know about it. I mean, why is he in jail? He wrote the 7-Eleven. But I don't want to talk about Leon. Steffi, are you in here? Hi, Vanessa. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. How's Dad? He's fine. Damn it, Steffi. If you don't give me a hug, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> Daddy's little girl? <laughs> That's me. You must be Tess. Marguerite said that you were staying with us. Mm-hmm. Guess what? What? Do you have a new boyfriend? No, that's not what I was going to tell you. It's Leon. He got released from jail five days ago. Leon and Steffi are twins. Only they don't look anything alike. Leon is prettier. <laughs> So how is college? Are there any cute guys? Yes, no, and sometimes. How's the guys in your high school? Oh, they're so immature. Except for Daryl. <laughs> Daryl must be the new one for the moment. Right. He's a god, an absolute god. Last week, he brought me flowers. My sister. Well, it sounds normal to me. I mean, when I was in high school, I used to drive past construction sites and pick up the flagmen, bronze, bulging muscles, take them back to McDonald's for some lunch. Have you met my brother, Reggie? Yes, well, every time we get together, you know, something goes wrong. I can understand that your car is broke. Well, the whole family's gonna be here. We're really looking forward to seeing you, you know. Yes, well, by the way, I heard from your brother Leon. Yeah, five days ago. Well, I thought he might get in touch with you, you know. You're closer to him than I am. Yeah. Well, I really would like to for you to come to Thanksgiving dinner with the rest of the family. Okay. Yeah, well, you have a good day too, son. Huh? Most certainly. Thank you. See, the Dow Jones is up this morning. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My, we're certainly happy this morning, aren't we? Well, oh, yes, I am, and you will be too. Oh, Thank and you. why is that, Marguerite? I'm not telling, but you will be. Thank mm. you. You're welcome. Daddy, what about Leon? Oh, uh, I don't know, but I do wish he would make it. They watched the parade with me. Leon used to love the parade, especially the one with Santa Claus in it. You don't think I miss the Thanksgiving Day parades, do you? Why, Leon? Maybe. Hey, Damn, it's good to see you, son. It's good to see you too. Dad. Say hello to your sisters, Vanessa and stuff. Vanessa. Yeah. God. Oh, I'm so yeah. glad you're home. He's oh. here. Hi, Leon. Hi, Steph. Well, sit down, son. Have some breakfast. Well, Leon, you look very good. Bet you're not used to eating this good, are you? Well, it's good to have you home, son. It's good to be home, Dad. It's good to be home. Well, all we need is Reggie, and we'll all be a family again. I think you're crazy. It's 69 degrees out there. But it's only 39 degrees back east. Besides, this is the last chance I'm going to have to get a tan until, God, next June. And I'm going to take advantage of it while I'm here. Suit yourself. I'm going to take a nap. The smell of turkey gets me drowsy.
Who are you? I'm Tess, Stephanie's friend. You know, I've got to tell you, you are my absolute most favorite tennis player in the whole world. Yeah, well, not anymore. Where's everybody? Oh, they're inside, um, sweeping or watching parades. What do you mean, not anymore? I'm not a tennis player anymore. But you had the best serve in the business. Yeah, well, it doesn't do me much good now because if they happen to hit the ball, I can't seem to run after it. Why not? Why not? Because the cartilage has gone in my knee, you know, like it's shot. Kaput finito. It's all I can do to walk. Do you understand now? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not your fault. I'm sorry I yelled at you, okay? Listen, um, let me put some oil on you or something. I don't want you getting sunburned yeah. in our pool. Yeah, I could do some on my bed. Oh, Dad, how you Son. doing? Good to see you, Dad. Good to see you. Yeah. So how have you been? Keeping Pretty good. So I'm trying. Oh, great. Sure, why not? So <sighs> yeah, I have some of that bourbon, Dad. Mm -hmm. Some things need to change. All right, here we go. So have you seen the others? No, I haven't seen anybody yet, Dad. Oh, so how's the knee? Just a sprain, like you thought, huh? No, it's not just a sprain. It's a cartilage. Wow, it's going to take a lot longer than you thought to heal, huh? Um, it's not going to heal, Dad. I, oh, hey, man, I, I, I'll be okay. You know, I got investments and stuff, so I'm, I'm fine. Everything will be okay, not to worry. You know, my fool, man. Man, I'm a tennis player, Dad, and that's all I know how to do. I don't know how to do anything else. But you're wrong, son. What do you mean wrong? How can you say wrong? How do you know if I'm wrong? Have you ever had your career just come crashing down you like an avalanche, huh? Yes, I have. You think I've been always a producer? Yeah. No, I wasn't. I didn't know anything about music. I know the difference in a clarinet from a zuzophone. My game was basketball. I was the best damn basketball player in Kansas. But it was a heart murmur. Just a little one. It wasn't anything big. But that was the end of my career. So I liked writing songs. So I got me a job in some recording studio. And the rest, well, as they say, it's history. But Dad, I don't know how to write songs. That's not the point, Reggie. There's a lot of things that you can do. You just have to look for it. Yeah. I guess I'm intelligent, huh? Articulate. Definitely colorful, right? Mm -hmm, for real. God, I could be one of them uh, commentary people on television. Sure. Yeah, that's it. If, if, if Bob Euchre could do it, I could do it, right? Right. That's yeah. the spirit. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to watch the football game with Leon. He hasn't seen you yet. Come on. Hey, go ahead, Dad. I'll be in the middle. Let me just think about that for a while. Okay. Hey, Dad. Thanks a lot. Are you having a good time, Tess? Yes, Stephanie. This is the best weekend of my whole life. Oh, Margaret, please. We can do this ourselves. Why don't you sit down and join us, please? This is Thanksgiving. Yeah. Have a seat. Make the trip. Dad, I'm over. <laughs> that was good, Dad. Oh, thank you, my darling. And I'd like to propose a toast here. For here is a day to truly be thankful. The whole family's here, and we're once again close. And here's to that that closeness never again disappears. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, Daddy. Well, I guess we might as well start in here. Let's eat. Let's eat. Start.
So what did you think of that? It really breathes. Taking out all the triple X material, this was like 45 minutes long. It was a beast to edit. Guess what they were talking about? Inappropriate stuff. So that 45 minutes became 14 for dialogue. Mr. Richardson, Hierarchy of the Family, FM Bradley, best part of Pretty Peaches 2. I think I said that in the beginning. He was in a lot of adult films, a lot of urban adult films. Black Lava's on our channel. I never realized that his thumbnail image on IMDb is him doing the muscle from Pretty Peaches 2. That's our thumbnail for Pretty Peaches 2. I guess I didn't realize that was such an iconic image. I isolated that, removed the background, and I did that all on my own. Angel Kelly is Vanessa. Almost all these people were in the Debbie Does Ditches series. Isn't that weird? Angel was in Debbie Does Ditches 3. Sins of the Wealthy 2 is a picture we've done with her. She's done a lot of movies. Move Dainoa. I had to go to pronunciation.com for her first name and her last name like three days ago. I had to refresh myself today as well. Debbie does dishes too. She's the big sister, Stephanie, roommate of Portia Lynn, and our two brothers, Reggie and Leon, are Billy D and Robbie D. No relation. Reggie, Billy D, he's been in a bazillion things. Talked about him a lot last week. Debbie does dishes, one. Debbie does dishes, four. Debbie for hire. He was one of the people that switched characters. Legend. And Robbie D., I don't believe I've ever seen him before. I've never heard of him before. But then I looked at his whole filmography. I've never seen him in anything. A lot of cool titles. Play on words, as they are to do in the adult film industry. Like Hill Street Blacks. Like To Live and Shave in L.A. <laughs> Introducing Viper, her first film as Marguerite the Maid. She's cool. She's a tattoo up and down her whole body. You can't see it in her maid outfit. That lady is awesome. She's a Marine. She was a Marine. She passed away. She's from Tennessee. And last but not least, Portia Lynn getting the street cred in Black Taboo 2. The lead of Taboo 5. She's also in Night of the Living Debbies, which I think is Debbie Does Dishes 5. I tinkered with it. It is bad. Quality and quality. I don't know if we're going to... I'm going to mess with it. It's Henry Pichard. Maybe if I could find a cleaner copy of it. But it's a mess. <laughs> no offense. They can't all be zingers. She's probably best known for Rocket Girls and Maxine. The most anticipated film of 2024. Maxine. I haven't went to see a movie the second it opened. And I don't know how long. Probably Pulp Fiction. That's weird. But this is a different Maxine. This is Maxine, the play on Max Hedrum. She plays two roles in that movie. She plays a regular human being in the movie. She also plays the Maxine character. If you don't know what the other Maxine is, X, that film, best film that's came out in a long time. And then Pearl, a strange, awesome film as well. So X, Pearl, Maxine, trilogy over. It's about the adult film world on VHS. Someone crawled in my brain. I've been working on this picture forever. I even was cutting the worst version ever. And I pivoted and got a better, slightly better version. And I spent a whole day. You probably can't tell. Might as well just kick me. I spent a whole day sweetening this audio. And it's as good as it's going to get. All right, thanks for watching. Yes, it was. It was supposed to be a double feature for yesterday. Black Taboo 2 and White Women. I couldn't get it done in time. That's why it's Monday and you're getting a brand new one. You know what? I have like seven brand new ones that are 75 to 95% done. I know I really got to do the work on the re-releases, but we might be tossing out some originals, some OGs. It's going to snow in two days, so if you're sick of me, I'm going to go do snow removal in two days. But what am I going to do for two days? Oh, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you 
No one donated a dollar, but that's okay. I still need to know if I set up Cash App correctly. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy February.